Welcome to this training on Structure Editor Basics in STN Next. Clicking on the Draw button in the right bottom corner will open the Structure Editor. By default, the Pencil tool is pre-selected as well as the Carbon Atom. We recommend to first draw the Carbon Structure and then add the different atoms. This is the most efficient way to draw a molecule. Clicking once will draw one single atom. Clicking and pulling will draw another bond. Clicking again on the atom will then add uh, multiple bonds in any random direction. You can remove bonds with the eraser tool and you can also draw longer chains by using that chain tool. Clicking again on any carbon atom here in that chain will draw additional bonds. Clicking on one bond again will change it to a double bond, a triple bond and back to the single bond again. Here I now need a double bond later on and another bond going to that direction and another substituent here. Another double bond here and can now to keep the overview of my structure also add some atoms. So hovering over carbon atom and typing the letter on my keyboard will change the carbon atom to the specific atom without changing my default when I draw further bonds with the pencil tool. I also need an oxygen over here. There should be a nitrogen and a phosphorus, another oxygen over there. And as you see, when I now draw another bond, this is then again still the carbon atom. When you would like to draw rings, we have a pre-selection below the structure drawing area. And here you can either select a benzene, hexane, a cyclopentadiene, or cyclopentane ring, but you can also draw a ring of any size from 3 to 15 by using the ring description. You can also type in the five membered ring, click on OK, and then you will be able to add this to a chain. This ring will have three, actually four substituents like that, and another bicycle shall be attached over here. To draw this, I'm going to draw another five-membered ring here again. So hovering over the atom, will connect this to a chain. And hovering over a bond will fuse the ring to the previous one. Going back to the pencil tool, I can also draw another substituent over there. In case you would like to draw more complex ring systems or even other complex structures, we have some templates available for you that you can find behind that structure template button. The cycloalkanes are uh, expanded by default, but when you collapse this, you see the different categories. You can also save user-defined templates by saving a structure as template with the button just on top of the structure editor. And those will then appear in the last category over there. We have several shortcuts available for you, which can be found behind the shortcut menu over there. In that case, I need a hydroxy group here. And when I draw the hydroxy group, with the shortcut, I can be sure that this hydroxy group really will a hydroxy group and not an ether. So this cannot be substituted even in a substructure search. Further, I need a phenyl ring over here, substituted to this oxygen, and an amino group over there. I could choose the amino function from here to make sure this is really an NOH2, um, but I actually would like 
to draw to show you how I can also draw this using the keyboard. So when I draw a nitrogen and not the shortcut NH2, I can also use the lock atom tool to protect this against further substitution. So this is also a way to draw a primary amino group that is not allowed to be further substituted. Okay, then last but not least, I need the nitrile over there. Further, I need some nitrogen atoms within my bicycle here and change those single bonds to double bonds like that. Don't forget the oxygen in the furan ring. So with that, we have already the plane structure of Remdesivir, but Remdesivir shows some enantiomeric centers. Stereochemistry can be drawn using those stereo bonds that can be found just below that preselection of the atoms. In that case, I need some bonds coming out of the plane and just click on the bonds to change the bonds to the stereo bonds. Also here that bond and some bonds are going into the plane which I can draw like that. This one as well. Okay with this I have my structure ready for an exact structure search. When I would like to implement some variability, I can do this as well. For example, we can remove this IQ group and substitute this with a general IQ group. Variables can be found behind the X button here. And there you will find any halogen, any metal, any atom except hydrogen, any heteroatom, and as well the alkyl chain, further as any cycle, a carbocycle, a heterocycle, and a dummy node, a degeneric node. So let's select the alkyl carbon chain and draw it next to the oxygen. We can further define this a bit more precisely. So when I right click with my mouse, I open the node attributes window where I can, for example, tell the system that I would like to have the alkyl chain with four to eight carbon atoms. So I'm going to select the range, type four to eight, add this and click on OK. And now you will see that there is an asterisk right next to the IQ group. And when I hover over the IQ group, you will see on the right hand side that I added the element count with four to eight carbon atoms. More on the node and bond attributes will be shown in the advanced STN Next Structure Editor session. Another option to include some variability is the R group. Clicking on the R will give you the opportunity to select specific atoms with the periodic table, variables, or shortcuts. And those can all be mixed within the R group. So I'm going to substitute the nitrile now with an R group, including the nitrile, but also a methoxy group or any ether. So I'm just substituting with an oxygen, could be hydroxy, but could also be an ether, and substitute the nitrile now in my structure with the R1. If you would like to define additional R groups, you can move to R2 and define this differently. Further, we can use the repeating groups functionality to either repeat atoms or moieties within a chain for a specific number from 0 to 20. Click on Apply. And then you can have this moiety 0 to 20 times within your molecule. For this search, 
I'd like to actually search instead of the Fennel ring, also other ring sizes attached to that oxygen. So I'm going to delete the Fennel group and substitute this with a ring. First, I need to draw the bond. Then can, I can draw the ring. And when I now apply the repeating unit to that ring and select carbon atoms one to three times repeated, apply, this now can be a five to seven membered ring. As I don't know where the double bonds could be, so in a six membered ring, I could have the fennel ring or a cyclohexane. In the five membered ring, I could have two double bonds. It makes sense to not draw specific positions for the double bonds, but use the unspecified bonds, which could be single, double, or triple bonds. I'm drawing this for all those bonds over here. So this can now be a saturated or unsaturated or aromatic ring. With those variability included in the structure, you cannot do an exact search anymore, but you can do a closed substructure search. The closed substructure search applies the variability, but doesn't allow for further substitution at all the other open positions. The broadest way to search that compound would be the substructure search where the variability is applied, but also all open positions are available for substitution. If you would like to prevent substitution, you have two tools available. The lock atom tool over here that we already applied to our amino group, but you could also apply this to the carbon atoms in a chain or a ring to prevent the substitution here. And we also have the lock ring fusion or formation tool which prevents on the one side chains to be part of a ring, but this is basically by default. If you apply this now to a chain, you actually change the chain to be able to be part of a ring. So you change the bonds to ring or chain bonds. When you apply this to a ring, the ring cannot be further fused with any other rings and can also not be a sp further spiral cycle. When you are interested in modifying known structures, as I just did with Remdesivir, you can also take the CAS registry number of Remdesivir and paste it to that text-to-structure uh, window over there. You could also use a smiles or inchy key. This will then draw the structure automatically and you can go ahead and modify with the tool we just learned about.